So this is the most important video that I'm going to make. The reason why is because it answers the most important question that we have as growers, which is what do I grow? Okay, to get beautiful plants at a low cost. So this is the most important question because if you pick the wrong plants, you're never gonna get the right results. So picking the right plants is really key. Now, thankfully for us, the answer is simple and there's just one, native plants. So for the rest of this video, I'm going to define native plants and explain why these particular plants are the answer. So first, what are native plants? Well, we can define native plants as plants created by natural selection for a particular ecosystem. So in order to understand this definition, we really need to understand what is natural selection. So natural selection is a type of evolution. Evolution describes how species are created. Now, when evolution is done by natural selection, mother nature creates the, speech, the species. Now, how does mother nature create species? Well, she does it by species changing themselves or adapting to their environment in order to survive. Now, this is different from domestic selection where man is the one creating the species. And the results are different when man creates the species because man does so to satisfy his wants and needs and not necessarily in accordance with the laws of nature. So native plants are plants created by natural selection for a particular ecosystem, or we can say that they're created by nature, not man for a particular ecosystem. Okay, that's really key distinction for native plants is we really don't want to have much involvement or manipulation by man in the creation of these plants. Okay, so that's the definition of native plants. Now, why is it that these particular plants are beautiful and low cost? Well, it has everything to do with the fact that they're adapted to their environment. So when natural selection creates the plant, the plant ends up being 100% adapted to its environment. It has to be or else it won't survive in that environment. So now when a plant is 100% adapted to its environment, all of its environmental needs are met. Okay, these are the needs that the plant has to satisfy in order to survive in its native habitat. So therefore the plant looks beautiful all year round okay because when any of these environmental needs aren't met the plant starts getting sick okay and it shows visibly that it's not doing well let's take for example the plant behind me which is the spanish stopper now the spanish stoppers natural range is south florida not north florida so when you take this particular plant outside of its native habitat and put it in north florida what's going to happen is it's going to start looking bad it's going to start getting sick as the temperatures drop in north florida because this plant cannot tolerate the cold of the north. So it's going to start looking bad as the temperatures drop and eventually it's going to die. Okay, it can't survive in the cold. So um, this is an, an issue in South Florida because this is its native habitat. So it's 100% adapted to these temperature ranges. So it doesn't get sick because of uh, the temperature in, in South Florida. So it looks good all year round here. Okay, so we can use this 
same example, the Spanish Doppler in the north to describe low cost as well. So in order for the Spanish Doppler to look good in the north, you're going to have to spend time and money on the plant to modify its environment to more mirror its native environment so that it doesn't get sick. So for instance, you're going to have to keep the Spanish Doppler in its pot. When it gets cold, you're going to have to bring it inside. You're going to have to water it, give it light. Then when it gets warm again, take it back outside and do that every single year. So this is um, an extra expense that you're going to have to have because the plant isn't native. Okay, so that makes native plants low cost. So in summary, Native plants are the answer to having a beautiful landscape at a low cost. The reason is because native plants were created by natural selection for a particular ecosystem. Therefore, they're 100% adapted to their environment. Therefore, they're beautiful at a low cost. So thank you very much for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.